Final quarter is on the way. Remember, the clock stops at the end of four quarters. Doesn't matter what happens after that. We will be taking it all the way back to Sheffield on Friday. Looking at the numbers, Mike Tuck has 16 points, 12 rebounds. Already secured his double-double. It's a player that will never let you down. Simple yeah. as. Yeah. Shot clock is at three. Big hang time. Oh, what a basket by Gabriel Haskins. The shot clock was at one. He was leaning I away. Hope Mike is going on YouTube. That's <laughs> need to go on YouTube, man. That was a gorgeous play. Lewis, Nick Lewis handling the ball. Gets it to Tuck. Tuck puts it on the floor. Oh, spins, loses the ball. Wow, he's looking to the official for a call. The official turns away. Haskins with the ball. 13-point ball game. Still Haskins. Haskins drives. And there's a whistle on the play. Haskins will go to the line for two. Foul called on Micah Williams. Asko is making the difference at the moment. He's keeping yeah. Cheshire in touch. Absolutely. And to be fair, when he played in Manchester, he was really, really not the same player. No. Very quiet. But he had Devon Bailey marking him, and, and <laughs> I think he had a bit of a rough talk. Yeah. Atiba Lyons is going to make the change. He has brought back BJ. Haskins gets the first from the line. Now it's 12. Something has tickled Roger Harrison. Not quite sure what it was, but he was killing himself laughing. Babalola with the rebound as Haskins misses the second. At Mike Shaft, if you want to give us a shout out, I will give you a mention wherever you are in the world. Tuck on the ball. Michael Williams pops out. Babalola on the block. Goes at Thompson. Babalola off the window for two. Pretty shot. He's coming to Babalola. He's ready to play. Get a quiet first two quarters, but now he's starting to. Haskins has to take the long way round. Kicks it out. Off the window for two points. Nice play. Stuart Thompson. Again, Haskins playing the point really well. Uh, it's dictating the pace for, for uh, Phoenix. He's driving in, taking fouls. Abalola goes to work. Nice hang time again. This time it doesn't drop. Alif Bland with the rebound. Make that six total boards. And loses it. Can somebody catch the ball, please? <laughs> oh, Sharks don't like that call. Timeout has been called by Atiba Lyons, who wants to talk it over. I don't know what the players were waiting for, but anyway, they've come off now. So we're 7 minutes 57 left to play in the ball game. 48-60, a 12-point affair with the Sheffield Sharks leading on the road here in the BBL Trophy semi-final first leg. Second leg happens on Friday in Sheffield. They tip at 7.30 and that one, there will be a decision and whoever wins over the two will be going to the BBL Trophy Final in Scotland. Are you going to invite me? Come on, it's we're going out to Scotland to see a good match. I think the final is going to be excellent. Yeah. I really do. Um, it, it's a great competition. Be, with, with, with the little you know, question mark I've got over the format at this semi-final level. He, Mike. Everything else is good. You need to make a new petition again. I'll start with the first one to sign. <laughs> So it's now time for Phoenix to try to, to score some baskets. They must need to push it. Must just mention, by the way, that the second semi-final features Leicester Riders, who are flying this season, and the Worcester Wolves, who are coming really strong. That one, I do not think you could call at the moment. Leicester Riders are in really, really good form at the moment. The depth of the squad is immense. Rob Paternostra has done a great job recruiting this season. Marks. Ches Marks doesn't go. Offensive board, no putback by Bland. And Mike Tuck rips it out of the air. Quarterback pass. Who's got the basketball? Mike. Andrew Bridge gets it. Ches Marks thought he'd stolen it after the quarterback pass by Tuck. And now, once again, was mopping up under the basket. Yep. Loose time from Tuck. Rebound, outlet, fast break. BJ Holmes throws it out of bounds. He thought it had come off. One of the Phoenix players, the referee who was right on the spot, says no. So, Mike, do you know what Manchester United doing? Come on. Oh, man, I forgot about that. That game could well have finished. Let me, let me check my sources. No points. Tuck with another rebound. 
I'll have to put the word out and see if we can find out. On the block, Andrew Bridge. Bridge goes at Marks. The scoop oh. shot. Pretty Did shot. Even? Offensive board. And again. And the ball was pinned on the bottom of the basket by Alfie Bland. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that before. He didn't need to jump. <laughs> no. What we got? Somebody's is, is been given a technical. Technical foul called on Andrew Bridge. So, Chess Marks on the line for two. First is good for Marks. It's been scrappy the last two or three minutes. Yes, definitely. Marks brings it back to a 10 point game. Marks has 18 personal. Game high. Chesh, and the Chesh Phoenix have close possession. The gap now. Yes, yes. It's a huge opportunity. They don't want to miss it now. The scrappy game suits Cheshire. And I bet your bottom dollar. Ball outside, number 24, 43. We'll see. Haskins has it. Haskins looks to split the defense, puts it up. Doesn't get there. Rebound ripped down by Jemison. Jemison, the outlet to Michael Williams. Sharks moving the ball. Tuck on the block, going at Bland. Backs him down, splits the defense. Call for traveling. Wow. Hello. I didn't see that one. Hell, I, I can't comment. You know me, I and can't I comment. Probably need to wear glasses. <laughs> that was a tough call. Marks in and out on the three attempts. Jump ball, the arrow says. Sharks basketball. Took has got the point. He had the ball in his hand. The guy and from then behind. the guy came in. It should have been a foul. Yes. But once again, Took. Took is in everything. Oh. He's in everything. P.J. Holmes advancing the ball for the Sharks. 5.54 left to play in this one. And remember, there cannot be any overtime in this game, irrespective of what the score is. Took along the baseline. And Gachette turns it over. Thompson goes strong down Main Street. Rejected by Zach Gachette. What a play. Gachette lost it at that end, worked his way all the way back and blocked the shot by Thompson. I said it before, if you make a mistake, get the ball back. When we're coaching kids, that's the first thing we, we tell them. Don't get mad, get even. Possession to the Phoenix. 17 on the shot clock. Skip pass. Thompson for three. No. Rebound, Mike Tuck. Might have said that a few times before tonight. I think he's got 16 or 17 rebounds yeah. already. <laughs> he's got 16 points to go with that as well. On the ball, BJ Holmes gets it back to Tuck. And now Michael Williams. Michael Williams pulls up. Doesn't get the points. Marks with the rebound. Marks off and running. 10-point ball game, 50-60. Sharks on the high side. Marks splits the defense. Marks gets it back outside the arc. Doesn't get there. Rebound, Jemison. He's got a bucket full of rebounds as well. But Sheffield is using the clock. Every time they go on offense, they want to move the ball around and, and trying to go to the hoop for 14, 15 seconds. And that's just shortening the game. Gachette along the baseline. Oh, the layup. That's a fantastic. pretty play. That's that a was. pretty play. Oh, oh, oh. Zach Gachette put that ball up around the defender around the defense. That was quality. Maybe that block shot has got him going. From the corner for three. That's way he took short. Took a dream on the game, Mike. Yep. That was a poor shot by Chris Pierce. Missed everything. 4.08 left to play in this one. You're listening to BBL Trophy Action live from the Northgate Arena on the new Sunset Radio. Great ball movement. BJ to the corner pocket to Michael Williams for no point rebound Jemison for two Sharks are killing it at the moment great execution yeah great ball, ball movement inside. back out round the arc absolutely Thompson Thompson looks to drive kicks it back to Pierce now Pierce goes to work gets it back to Thompson nice two man game no basket that should have been an offensive interference somebody slapped the backboard yeah you don't like that call you shouldn't slap the backboard it may have it may have affected the flight of the ball once it touched the rim let's see what we got substitution coming in chris pierce goes out back on the floor sean myers good job from pierce to be fair hmm? good job from pierce to be fair 
that that shot that last shot was ill advised <laughs> <laughs> ill advised <laughs> bj holmes on the ball haskins comes to meet him and now michael williams has thompson on him and tuck down low shot clock is at three tuck gets it off doesn't get the points michael williams knocks it down for two now it's 16 biggest lead of the game very good partnership between Tuck and, and Williams again yeah coming down Main Street Haskins doesn't get the drop Alif Bland with the offensive board and the putback he has 10 personal my 240 to go 14 point for Sheffield I'm thinking they're done you think so yes BJ wraps it around to Jemison for deep doesn't go who's got the basketball Mike Tuck with the offensive board wow He's got to be a coach's dream, hasn't he? He never stops. He must be the first name re-signed every season by the Sharks. Do, do you know nowadays, that on the footballer, when they train, they put this uh, GPS. I would like <laughs> to put the GPS on him. Yes, see how yeah, much he, he absolutely. Foul called on Haskins. Babalola's coming back in. That's the second foul on Haskins. Jemison goes out again, doing a great job for head coach Atiba Lions. Jemison has 10 personal Sharks have five players in double figures. Tuck on the ball. Tuck wraps it around to Babalola. Babalola checks the shot clock. It's eight seconds. BJ Holmes for three. Money! Nothing but net. BJ Holmes has three triples in this ball game in his 13 points. 52 69. Sharks by 17. Foul called on Micah Williams. We were talking before, Stefan Gill, they likes to be set and, and yeah. shoot. BJ Holmes is exactly the opposite. Yeah. Out of he the can, dribble. Man, boom. he can manufacture his yeah. own shot. Give him the ball, whatever the situation, he takes control. If he needs to take the shot, he'll take it. And he can also find the open man when he needs to. Haskins for the Phoenix. What, a, what an in-out dribble and tuck with the steal. It's four on one. Four on one. And... Babalola is fouled by Ches Marks. Marks picks up foul number three. And that's going to send Babalola to the line for two shots. Sharks had the numbers on that offense. Yeah, but interesting to see how Askell can go to the big bodies. So nippy, so fast. Splits the defense. Very, very sharp crossover yeah, every oh, time. That was a gorgeous crossover oh. at the top. All with his one hand. It wasn't, you know, it no, was no. what they call an in-out dribble. Yes. I, I like to call it a one-handed crossover. <laughs> Not the prettiest of names, but it's effective. Babalola got the first. Babalola fails to get the second. Rebound pulled down by Sean Myers. Thompson on the ball. Thompson with a nice body swerve gets it back to Marks. Marks kicks it back to Thompson outside the arc, puts it up, doesn't get the points. Oh, that's a dread. Oh, referee, that was no elbow. Oh, that's a shocking call. Shocking call. Who was that on? To me, Mike, he rotated like you do when you box out. That's what you do. And he had his arms out already. He yeah. didn't move his elbow, he just rotated his hips. And because he's probably 16 stone, and the other guy is 12 stone, he moved the player. Who was the call on, by the way? No, I think it was on Babalola, because he hasn't... Uh, Marks for three now. Who's that? Marks. Marks for three. for three. Been quiet in this quarter, has he? Um, he's got five points in this quarter in his 21. Game high, 21. 15-point ball game, 55-70. And we've got one minute and four seconds left to play in the ball game. Babalola. Kicks it out to Michael Williams. Michael Williams makes his move. Shakes wow. up in the end. Knocks it down. Gorgeous play. And with that score by Michael Williams, head coach Matthew Lloyd calls for time. 54 to go. Seconds to go. 55-72. I think the main reason is what Took is doing on defense. Man, he's just Helping out, everywhere. rebounding, yeah. outletting. He's a workhorse. And they've got Michael Williams, who's done a good job, has 16 points here tonight. And, you know, uh, BJ Holmes does what he does. But, but I think Sheffield is winning on the... Yeah. You know, 55 points. Yeah, they, they've kept him down, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, no doubt about that. And they kept the two that. men that they score, Chad Marks and Haskins, very, very quiet. Yeah. 
So, 54.9 seconds left in this one. Remember, no possibility of overtime. Whatever the score is, that's where this game will end. Cheers, Marks. Marks gets it to Myers, and now Haskins. Haskins pushes BJ out. What a rejection by Babalola. Jump ball, the arrow says. Phoenix. That's what, where they win in the game. In the paint. Yeah, yeah. Like the, they've the they've locked it down. It. They've Absolutely. locked it down. Marks has it. Marks puts the defender in the air. Kicks it back. Oh, Bailey! Oh, I hope Andrew Thompson is still listening. That was a fabulous play down Main Street by Thompson. Who flushed it. He brought the hammer down for the two points. That was awesome. That was really, really good. Andrew, if you're listening, your brother, do you proud? No doubt about that. That was a gorgeous play. And it drops. I think it was Gachette who finished it for two. Yep. Shot clock, game clock is running out. And oh from God. downtown, Gabriel Haskins beats the buzzer. Yes, he does. It's now on the scoreboard with a three from just inside of the half just on one side of the halfway line no, you see this is the thing with these games man this is the th I t did i not tell you about the three from your own half to lose the game they haven't lost the game here by the way this is just the first half of this game because the second half takes place in sheffield it finishes here 60 to the phoenix 74 to the sharks tell me what you made of it game was a game of two halves first two quarters Cheshire Phoenix was able to match Sheffield Sharks third and fourth quarter Sheffield Sharks just went away with the game and they won on the D well it the, the lead the biggest lead was 18 so you could say the Phoenix did a good job getting it down to 14 by the end of the game especially with that three from the halfway line Sheffield Sharks looks a little bit more consistent throughout the game they don't need to improvise they play outside, they play inside. But to me, if you look at the stats, they had Myers, the highest number of rebounds, defensive rebound, didn't yeah. do a lot this, this, uh, this game. On the other hand, you got Took absolutely storming away with rebounds, offense and defense, scored 16 points, I believe. All round, Sheffield, it looks much better. More controlled, they dictated the tempo when it was necessary. Didn't let the two top scorers of, of uh, Phoenix doing the job. The Sharks have to be happy because where they started this season, their first few games were terrible. They were in, in, a, in a rut. They couldn't get a, get a win. And to be here on the verge of a cup final, this is just marvellous. Well, you look, you look at the way they play. They play basically utilising what they have in terms of strength. What they're good at. Absolutely. They don't waste the ball. That's the most important thing.